So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. We have a quite interesting product here for review today, which is a new camera. It is called uh, the AIOHD uh, 1080p FPV Wireless Transmitter DV Camera, or more commonly as the Sky HD01. Uh, so let's take a look. When you unpack it, you get some, some nice manual. I already went through the manual. Uh, everything is quite easy to understand and after you saw my video, you will have no problems to, to use this camera. Let's see what we have here. So, first the camera itself. And as you can probably see, it has some interesting features, which we will talk about in a minute. But first, let's see what else we got in here. Your standard USB cable, micro USB in this case. And some more cables, which is also interesting. And something which just fell out. Uh, I will talk about this in a minute. And about these cables as well. So let's take a look at this camera. One of the features which you might, which might not be the first interesting feature you saw, but which is interesting is that the lens is tilt-able. So you can see it's a 45 degree angle where you can actually tilt the lens, which is quite a nice feature if you want to use this camera on quadcopters or other, other multi-rotors which usually go not straight, but when they fly forward they go like that. Then you could mount the camera flat and just uh, point the lens up a bit in order to not only record the ground, but actually what is in front of you. We all know this from the mini quads. There we always, always have for our mobios and for our run cams a tilted angle, a tilted, a tilted mount. And while you won't need that with that one, you can just mount it straight and uh, tilt the lens up a bit. So, well, this is very nice. So I use this on my mini quads for both my board cam and my recording cam. And, well, this actually brings us to the next uh, interesting feature of that camera. It also has a built-in 5.8 GHz video transmitter. Well, this is nice. 400 milliwatts. So it comes with the usual antenna, you will want to replace the spike uh, clover leaf or something like that. And yeah, it's, it has an included uh, video transmitter, which we will uh, take a look at just in a minute. Uh, what is interesting of course is, well, okay, so what is the battery life of this? Given that it's a full HD recording camera, and it comes with an included video transmitter. The actual battery life with the built-in battery is only 20 to 25 minutes. This is, well, you know, you have to pay a price for getting all of that. But it's not a problem because they actually provide you with a PEC uh, in order to power your camera directly from the balance plug of a LiPo, so you just put that in here, on that side 5 volts come out, and let me quickly look, with that cable you can actually get these 5 volts from here, and power your camera from your uh, LiPo, so then you won't have the restriction uh, of the internal uh, battery, which, as I said, including transmitting, of course, only lasts for around 20 to 25 minutes. So, let's take a look at the basic functions of this. <clears throat> Something which is interesting, which I want to point out before is, this one, as you may be able to see, doesn't come with your usual uh, plastic casing, it's actually a metal casing. Maybe they did this to help with uh, heat sinking, 
with putting away all the heat from having a full HD recording camera and a video transmitter all in the same case. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, so the basic functions. Uh, basically you turn on the camera by uh, pushing this power button for 3 seconds, which I'm doing now. And in this mode, you will see it, this blue button is flashing. It is now in remote control mode actually. <laughs> this is another nice thing, because you can actually, using this cable, and a connector in the, on the back here, you can actually remote control this camera through your, your receiver, so through your regular uh, 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 radio. So this is nice, so you can just switch a flip and say, yeah, now you start recording, now you stop recording, now you take a picture, and so on. This is quite a nice feature. Uh, if you just wanted to use the camera as a regular camera, you just press this one again. And uh, a few seconds later you see this red light is coming on and now it is in regular camera mode. What can you do here? You can in regular camera mode take a photo just by pressing here or start recording by pressing the recording button. You can also change your band and your channel of the uh, video transmitter. It supports all four bands, which we uh, well know uh, with, H, with eight channels each. So this is relatively nice. So what we will uh, take a look now at is how you can actually change the settings of this camera, because there is no PC software needed for that. It all goes through an OSD menu, which we will take a look at now. So the camera is turned on. We will just use, just to give you an impression. You won't be able to see everything in the video because of this Fresnel lens of my cranium glasses. But you should be good. So I will just put them here so that you can see something. Let's just power them on. And I have already, I should have already the, the right channel, yes, you can see it here. So we already have the live picture, because we have set the right channel here. And now we will simply take a look at how uh, the, the setup of this camera works. Uh, you won't be able to see everything because of the Fresnel lens, so... Uh, but just to give you an impression... So... So now you can see we are in the menu. Again, please uh, don't worry about this. When you just look it through, through it in the regular way, you will see everything. But what we can see here is we can now uh, change the resolution. So then 80p or 720p at 60 frames per second or 780p at 30 frames per second. We can set the quality high, low, uh, and medium. We can send, set the video lengths. Uh, we can uh, set an auto-recording, so once it turned on, if it uh, should auto-record, timestamp, audio recording, we can set this on and off. We uh, can actually set the EV value here, plus minus. This is really nice, not many cameras have that. Uh, we can set an orientation here, so normal or uh, degree or, uh, or change by 180 degrees. And uh, we can also say if the OSD should be on or not. If it is on, it provides some information about the camera itself, uh, such as battery life and so on. This is nice if you want to have it. And in the setup here, it's just Take a look, you can set the language, which are currently in English, the date, the time, the date format. You can format the camera, the SD card here, which was necessary for me. This is an important thing. It wouldn't work with a regular Mobius SD card. I had to format it using the camera first. With an auto shutdown here, 
the light frequency, you know, these are just the regular settings, and of course the TV output if it's PAL or NTSC, and some other settings such as firmware upgrade and so on. So this seems very nice, uh, thought out very well, so I, I appreciate this. Let's go back into the regular mode, which works fine as you can see. And well, yeah, so what is next? We just went through the live testing to show you with a monitor how this works. This is actually, first I thought, well, no PC software, what's that? But it works great. So it's very easy to set everything. We only do that once in any case, so it, it's not a big thing. So that is nice. So let's uh, do some other measurements of this. First, what's the weight of this? This is something interesting. So for this I will turn it off again now. You also turn it off like you turned it on. Press this power button for 3 seconds. That's pretty straightforward. So let's see what's the weight of this baby. Including the antenna. So including the antenna we have here 57 grams. That is not bad. If you take a regular run cam here. That one comes in at 45 grams, but you still need a, a video transmitter, of course. If I just take the antenna off here, 45 grams, we are at well, almost the same size, 48 grams. So that's pretty nice. And it's obvious how they did it. They just put the video transmitter in here and used a smaller LiPo. So that's how they come at the same weight and well, pretty much the same size of the run cam. Let's take some other cameras here. So that's a Mobius, which comes in at 47 grams. Well, it's also very similar in, in weight to this. So even if it has a metal casing, it, it's not really much more... Uh, it doesn't have any more weight than the other cameras, but it comes included with the with the video transmitter. This is nice. So let's take the the Foxia Legend here, which we will review soon. That one comes in at 50 grams. So it's all there at the same size. Yeah, you're all looking forward to me reviewing this, and this will come soon. So that's nice. So you can see the size here as well. It's just your regular size, like Runcam, Mobius, and so on. So this is really nice. So what do we do next? Of course we measure the latency, like we did for the Mobius and the run cams. Uh, yeah, I did that already, but I will show you the video now of measuring the latency. Okay, so what we are now doing is to measure the latency of this camera using our well-known method, which we also used for the run cam and the Mobius tests. So let's see what the latency of this baby is. So what we are measuring right now is the latency without recording. So just using the, the live out of the camera. And now we will turn recording on. It is now recording at the standard settings, which is full HD at 30 frames per second. And we will see what the latency of this is. So this concludes the latency measurements. So now you saw our latency measurements as before, as for the Mobius and Runcam videos. If you want to, to measure it yourself, just simply stop the video at the right moment and then you can subtract the both values from each other and you will know the latency but I did that already for you of course <clears throat> and what we came uh, to see here is of course it has some latency we all expected this but it's actually very low so without recording this is interesting it has more latency when you are not recording than when you are recording Without recording the video, the latency is 100 milliseconds. 
this is actually nice because as we know from our Mobius and Runcam tests the Mobius actually without recording has a latency of 134 milliseconds and the Runcam has a latency of 166 milliseconds so that's actually with regards to latency a winner here and it gets more interesting when you are actually recording when we are actually recording a full HD at 30 frames per second the latency is actually reduced we already know that effect from the Mobius and Runcam tests the latency is actually reduced to 67 milliseconds that is again very good because it's only half the value of the Mobius and the Runcam the Mobius when recording full HD has a latency of 134 milliseconds so 67 milliseconds 134 the Runcam has a latency equally to the Mobius when full HD recording again of 134 milliseconds so that's twice as fast with regards to latency so what can we conclude here this is a very nice camera actually the tilt able lens is a very nice feature the included transmitter is also really great so how would I use this what would I suggest to you of course the hardcore mini quad racer pilots will not use this as a board camera for them latency is everything so they will use a dedicated board camera but for everyone else this is really nice so this is really great if you just want a plug and play FTV setup including full HD recording for that it is really nice you can simply attach it to any vehicle to any flying machine and it will just work you put on your glasses and it will just work so for that it is innovative it is really nice and yeah I can really suggest it for that so what is next next I will of course do live video this will be in another video because I can't do this here on the bench but it will be a follow-up video but so far for a plug and play FPV solution including full HD recording it's a really nice camera at a really low price and low wide interesting form factor so yeah that's something new and innovative I like it if you like it as well or well if you like this video please leave a thumbs up please subscribe and soon I will have online the follow-up video where we actually take a look at the video quality so thank you very much and see you next time